Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, we are here. What do they call this? The pre the it's supposed to be France, but they're busting like 80s music. That's right. Well, you know, I told you earlier, Lori and I traveled a lot together. We had one of the best tours ever. We did. In 2019, what happened? December 2019, we had uh, four days to come back to the U.S. and stay before we had to go back out to the Baltic. So we were leaving Barcelona, Spain, connecting up through Paris, essentially over to California. Well, our flight leaving Spain was super, super delayed, but the in-flight kept assuring us, no problem, you'll make it, you'll make it, you'll make it. We didn't make it. We landed like an hour. In a faraway terminal. Like an hour and something late. We ran from the aircraft through one I person. ran. Man, I saw him run. I ran the wrong way and I ran back. And I caught up with Christian. That's right, that's how far we went. We ran through one passport control, we ran through a second passport control, we ran through a shuttle, then we had to wait for the shuttle, and then we thought we were going to get off the shuttle to be right there. No, we had to run through another terminal. <laughs> if any of you have ever been to Charles de Gaulle Airport, you know what we're talking about. That's right. We Sorry, I'm not a big fan. On the moving people mover walkway, only to miss the flight by like a second. And that's where the telenovela started. That's right. So I was there at the moving platform and I saw Lauren coming back crying, kicking her, her carry-on. I'm like, why is she crying? I tripped over my carry-on. I dropped my sunglasses. Now I'm on the people mover, on my hands and knees, trying to pick up my sunglasses and my carry-on suitcase, still bawling my eyes out. And Christian was just standing there watching me. I know, I was just watching her like, and <laughs> but the highlight of the story was That's after right. all the drama after the parisian throwing my passport back at me because he couldn't accommodate me on the next flight <sighs> it was bastille day in paris that's so. right and it's funny because we, we just said we're gonna go see the church the notre dame church because you know it just burned down and and then we said okay we'll just go into the city which is like about an hour and a half away from it's pretty far we it's pretty far, far but we found like a a car, a car a which is really car. good a black service car which is good yeah. so we went to the city and then we realized like why is everything closed so we walked through the things uh, the oh. river oh yeah the, we went the Thames. the Thames. Thames. that Thames right? no the Thames is no, in London the Thames is London Sand. the Thames the Thames River, river. We go through too many countries. Uh, too many rivers. Too many rivers. <laughs> so we went through the Seine, and then of course we got ourselves some drink. We did. A little adult beverage. Adult beverage. We tried to take a taxi. No, 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 no yet. Well, we went to the bridge. Taxi? We went to the bridge, and everybody's sitting oh, down, that's right, that's right. facing the Eiffel Tower, and we we're like, "What's happening?" And they said, "Well, it's Bastille Day." Yes. And then like it clicked, like okay. <laughs> and this one said, "Christian." Let's see, there's going to be fireworks later. Let's walk all the way to the Eiffel Tower. just walked to the Eiffel Tower. It's right there. And it's me. After like running through the airport that day, she wants to walk, which is like... It's a couple blocks away. No, it's not a couple, a couple cities. It's a couple blocks away. And so, of course, I was of course, okay, fine. We're drinking beer, walking. And I realized we were never going to make it. I made her ride this bicycle, like the... Oh, yeah, like the little... Uh, tricycle. Light up bicycle. Lit up. And we were like going to his Eiffel Tower. It was the best because I made her. <laughs> and then the, the adventure wasn't done yet at that point because after the fireworks, everyone needs to go somewhere. <laughs> so we're like, oh shoot, we're about an hour and a half away. No taxi service. So no. that's the good thing is that because Nothing. we kept the ticket for the black car service. That's right. We called him, so we just ate like something. It's now like 2 o'clock in the morning, by the way. And my flight was at 7 a.m. the other next day, so I just slept for maybe another hour oh. and I went to the airport. Shout out to the guy who drove the, the car service. I know, if you see this, we love you. <laughs> but that is one of the best, and I would say it most was, memorable. It was, it was really beautiful to sit right underneath the Eiffel Tower watching fireworks on this big holiday that they celebrate that just was so unplanned and will probably yes, never right. happen again. <laughs> But I mean, I've never seen fireworks in, I mean, with the Eiffel Tower. And we got to see Notre Dame, and actually, it was a really sentimental moment for Christian to uh, be there I know. after the fire that it had gone through and to be able to share it together. True. Also, but she oh, bought me, she bought me French crepes. So I mean, that I did. Good. And he <laughs> said that you shouldn't eat in Paris, just do that in Italy. That's right, and we've been there. Yeah. But yeah, thanks. That was it. That was that's very memorable. Uh, that's why I love this one. I love her. I'll go, I'm going to travel with her anywhere. 
And she loves shopping, so yeah. I love shopping. We're gonna go shopping right now. All right, bye. bye. <laughs> All right, it's almost it's almost like six. Closing time. Closing time. That's right. Well, we are now here at Starbucks. Surprise. There's one tidbit about our travels in Europe. So when we were training at the Baltic in the Med, <laughs> every single city we go to, we have to stop at a Starbucks because I collect tumblers, which, surprise, surprise, oh, yeah. <laughs> a, tumbler. a tumbler. Very special Universal Studios That's right. tumbler, so you can only get it inside the park. That's right, so please, if you want to get it. it. And this one has to stop where? Oh, I have a few places. Usually it's Hard Rock. Hard Rock. Hard it has rock to be Hard Cafe, Rock. Or we also have to stop at Zara. <laughs> and H&M. And H&M. And so you can find them in Europe, in Europe and all the international countries. They're everywhere. That's right. That's why when they announced that Zara and H&M, some of the stores are going to close, we were like, we, cried. we had to cry. We, and we had to talk. And we, it was a moment. <laughs> but going back to Taste of Universal, so now that we are, it was a great time. Like, so you said earlier that a girl from the store said it's not as busy. Yeah, today I guess was a very chill day. The last couple days, which would have been Thursday and Friday, were I guess busy. But she which said is weird. We're only really letting like two thousand people in, but it did not even seem yeah. like two thousand people at all. The longest lines were in the food lines. Yeah, and of those course. even went kind of fast. Yeah, but we never really. No, felt we it. didn't wait more than. 10 minutes that's right to get food so out of all the food that we ate what is your favorite oh, you and you think food. this girl has some issues with food i do <laughs> i do i do well i didn't really stick to i usually have to stick really strict to gluten yeah. and meat sensitivity but i splurged and i ate some um my favorite i had the fish and chips in <laughs> wizarding world of harry potter even though there was only one piece of fish that's right that christian and i shared that was good. Uh, that was good. The tacos were good. The tacos were good. The uh, um, chicharrones was good. Oh, the chicharrones was good. What did we also eat? Yeah, and we, we, we're so full that we actually just bought like some donuts, the pink donuts from uh, from the Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah. And then we got a big pretzel, giant extra large pretzel. That's right, for Mama Coolis. For, for her mom that I love. Mama Shout out Mama Coolis. I love you. Love I miss you. you. We're going to party after COVID, okay? After COVID. You know it. But so, what are your tips if ever somebody wants to go to Taste of Universal? Ooh. I would say come hungry. That's right. It bring was already, already 3 o'clock when it we ate, like and we haven't eaten really anything, late. so we were hungry. Uh, bring a buddy, because then you can share stuff. True. So you get five um, five items each person, so that's ten. So if you share, you have ten things to share, and you are pretty full, because most of the things are full meals. That's right. Because so, instead of buying like full meals for each other, we kind of like share and just... Mm -hmm. We were able to taste more. We were really. not sharing our Starbucks. That's right. Those individuals. This those is individuals. holy ground. Really. Just have fun. Everybody here is dancing. They're excited to be out. All the workers are just having a good time. There's characters out. There. And today is March 20th, and we just learned today that the park is opening April 7th. That's right. With all the attractions and. It's cool because we have. I haven't been here for a long time, at least two yeah. years. So she hasn't been here forever. Twenty sixteen. There's pets. So. What are the new ones? Pets. Uh, Kung Fu Panda. I haven't seen. Kung Fu Panda. And we're excited for Nintendo World, wherever you can Nintendo kind of land. see it. They're building it down on the lower lot. You can kind of see the, the construction for it. So that's exciting. If anybody's watched any of the videos from Japan, it looks amazing. I know. No, it's uh, yeah. great. Just come, enjoy, have a good time. I know. Bring a mask. Bring a mask. And everybody's really good, honestly. Like, yeah. They, they have like like uh, these markers where you just stand and wait for your turn. They will call you when you're going to gra grab your food. There's um, al alcohol or what do you call it? Sanitizer oh, yeah. everywhere. Sanitizer. It's Everything is to go um, sealed beverages. So there's no like uh, giving you a complimentary cup of water you have to buy a bottle of water right. or soda or whatever which you that's one thing to one tip is that you might want to go bring your own bottle of water at least just to save up a little bit with water instead of buying them mm -hmm. so yeah. that's one thing we just felt super safe water. though I didn't, yeah. I didn't feel unsafe at any time and i had a Definitely. good time and i know kudos to universal so we love universal um and we'll, we'll come back here i see <laughs> she's <laughs> sponsor me <laughs> but this is Lori um, and, and this is Papa Panda once again subscribe to my channel like and share this video and hit the notification bell for more Papa Panda updates with that being said just remember keep exploring while smiling and always walk with a purpose oh,
Okay, he's gonna Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.